least your office has a sort of map of the points of the financial infrastructure that you think really need to be strengthened um, for low-income households. And I wondered if there are some additional gaps in that infrastructure that you see that you know perhaps you may tackle in a few years. That's a very good question. You know, I, I really would uh, venture to say that I think this area of financial empowerment, financial education, financial access, um, all of that, it's really so, so, so broad. And they're so broad. And, and to their credit, I mean, we are, our group, our Office of Financial Empowerment here in San Francisco and the Treasurer's Office is very, very new on the scene. Just the last three to five years have we been engaged and, and thinking about this and rolling out programs. I want to give a lot of credit to a lot of organizations in the city that have been doing this for not only many years more, some of them for decades, uh, from neighborhood associations like Mission uh, Economic Development uh, to uh, other, other um, neighborhood associations like Chinese newcomers to, of course, uh, you know, great IDA programs coming out of EARN and financial education, and just the, the United Way and on and on and on and on. There's just so many valuable resources. I would venture to say that we are a small player uh, in the landscape of all the things going on here in San Francisco. So what I think really is the case is that it's, it's not really possible for any one organization or, or uh, group to really get their arms around all these sure. incredibly different uh, needs and, and challenges that are out there. So what I see as, as the goal is really to continue to grow in, in our ability to uh, work cooperatively and collaboratively. There is no limit to the power that we can bring to a, a challenge when we have a multitude of resources, a multitude of community leaders and community um, um, actors involved in helping people hear the right messages, people get connected to the right resources. That is so valuable when it comes to doing this type of work because in many ways, what we're talking about is not always so complicated. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes even elementary, but it's not always obvious, and it's not always something that many of us have, have had a lot of exposure to. Mm -hmm. So it's really sometimes merely a matter of connecting people to just thinking about things that they have, they do every day in a different way. Mm -hmm. Tackling, you know, something with an overlay of, yeah, but how's that going to um, impact my budget? Mm -hmm. And, you know, how is that decision I make today or this purchase I might be considering now going to uh, help me or hurt me in terms of reaching my savings goal for this or that or the other thing or my family? And, and I think just little alterations like that in the way many of us approach our everyday daily decisions can make a world of difference. And I see um, organization after organization here in San Francisco being very successful at helping people understand better what the impacts are. Um, I have so much confidence in all of the citizens in our city that once we give them the tools, once we give them the knowledge, they are so smart, they're so capable, they can make good decisions, they can follow good plans, and they can build a, a, a great um, uh, uh, map for where their family is going to go, where they're, they're going to go individually. We just need to give them the tools, we just need to give them the education. And I have a lot of confidence that people can do a lot of good stuff. Granted, we might need refreshers along the way, sure. we might need some support, we might need even a little peer pressure once in a while, but whatever it takes, I think we can deliver. So I'm really excited about um, the opportunity for us to collaborate as, as resources and in some ways, you know, leaders mm -hmm. in this effort around the city.